Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my Stocks Signals video for Monday the 15th of April. I'm going to be looking at WEC today on the daily time frame for a potential fifth wave move. So our bread and butter at TradeTheFifth.com. I'm using our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. Also available for Multicharts, TradeStation and Ninja Trader. So WEC on the daily time frame, you can see we've been in a really strong bullish trend recently, uh, really kicked on by, by earnings. And then we've had the all-time high and we've pulled back on a profit-taking pullback and found support. It's these profit-taking pullbacks, these wave falls, that we're really interested in on Trade the Fifth because we want to trade that fifth wave move because it is the highest probability move in an Elliott Wave sequence, in a trend. So you can see the Elliott Wave uh, Indicator Suite has labelled these. It's put in our probability pullback zones, our automated target zones, and then we've got a few more measurements down here, which is part of the Indicator Suite. So let's go through those right now on WEC on the daily time frame. So it's this Wave 4 that's really, really important for us. And we look at the performance of this Wave 4. So initially, we've had the Wave 4 pullback and it's found support in our green zone. Our green probability zone represents an 85% probability if that support holds and starts to move away, we've got an 85% probability that's going to go on and make that new fifth wave high into our uh, automated target zone there, around about 81, uh, just over $81 there. The next, uh, the performance of the wave four is this 535, our Elliott wave oscillator. That wave four has to pull back between 90 and 140%. The next measurement of this wave four is the pullback of the stochastic. We've got a false breakout stochastic on our early wave indicator suite denoting a really strong bullish trend. When the stochastic pulls back against there and crosses over in the oversold zone, the likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So there we've got some great performance indicators for that wave four. We just got to put the entry strategy together. This is reasonably simple because we have the six four moving average high here are part of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. And we use that as a starting point for our, um, for our entry. So Friday's uh, bar candle rejected the lows, formed a slightly new wave for low and closed near the highs. The gray candle here denotes an up candle but low volume. Uh, so now we've got to press on and continuation day is what we're looking for on Monday. I've gone for an entry of 78.31, which is way outside the 6-4 moving average high for Monday's bar position but also above this high here and this high of this big gray candle here that closed near the highs, but then the following day we had the gap down. So I wanna be above that price. So 78.31 is the entry. The stop loss is just below the wave four at 76.47. And the target zone, I got the risk to reward of one to 1.6 to the upper end of the target zone there is 81.26. So very simple to set up. Our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite basically does all the work for you. Uh, you just gotta put the entry strategy together. And we teach that in our training bootcamp that, that comes with this Indicator Suite. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.